John Jerry from Expressions. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Me featuring my entire Pandora Charms collection part 7 which I am so embarrassed about but it is what it is. And this is what we have left. So let's just dive right into it. I'm going to try to move this out of the way because I realized that it kind of blocks my light. I don't see how but it does. And I'm just going to have to reach. You know what? Let me just take out the bracelets. That way it's, I don't have to reach anywhere. And yes, it's empty finally. Okay. So because I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, it's a little bit more than usual. Usually I get through three or four bracelets. So because it's a little bit more, like more, I'm just going to try to like, you know, try to get through it real quickly. So I'm going to try it. Like these don't have stories. Don't really have a story. None of these really have stories. Um, except for my travel bracelet and my Christmas bracelet. So we're gonna try to enter. Oh no, I just snagged my thing. <laughs> we're gonna try to intersperse or interject like fast bracelets versus bracelets in terms of have stories. Okay. So this is my random bracelet. And you know what? Instead of holding it up, I'm just gonna zoom in. Yes, I'm gonna zoom in. And that way there's no like me holding the bracelet weird and the charm looking all weird. So I'm going to zoom in really quick and just get started. So again, this is my random bracelet. Um, random bracelet usually means I just kind of throw charms on it that I think are cute. <clears throat> Once upon a time, this was a full bracelet, but I started taking charms away from it to put on other bracelets to actually make a story or theme work better. And ever since then, I haven't really liked my bracelet anymore. I don't know what I did. I just don't love it anymore. So I don't know what to do. I might go back to the original like pattern or, or arrangement. Um, and the charms that I did take away from it to put on other bracelets, I'll try to find a better like something similar. Um, but again, let's just get started. Um, this is the little elephant a charm. And I got it in order for it to remind me of my sister because she loves baby elephants. She thinks they're the most adorable thing ever and they really are cute. And actually, I kind of got started into like liking baby elephants too because of her. And I think I bought this in Barcelona, I think. I'm not quite sure. They had a buy two get one free deal going on when we were there. And I got it kind of to remember her, <laughs> remind me of her. The cute little snail. I know it's, I don't, <laughs> people are like, why do you like snails? I don't necessarily like snails. I just think it's cute. I like his little like antennas or eyeballs. I don't know what those are, but they're so cute to me. And I just feel so bad for them because they're like trying to like live and like they get stepped on and you know. <laughs> they don't have much of an advantage in life, so I just feel bad for them. <laughs> but this was a gift from Kate uh, from My Fave Jewels on uh, Instagram. And I'm forgetting her, her YouTube channel, but she does have a YouTube channel. And we did a Pandora swap a couple years ago. And I asked for this. She gave it to me. I just think it's really cute. <laughs> Next, we come to the, I forget what this is called. Starry heart. I don't know. Star cutout heart. I don't remember. But we all know I love my stars and hearts. So uh, this was perfect. I think I got this off Rula La. It's still pretty new looking because I haven't really used it. And again, just kind of stuck it on here because I don't know where else to put it. <laughs> Next, we come to the, oh gosh, what is this called again? Dangly Orchid. Wow. I don't know why that was such a mouthful for me, but it was. <laughs> no meaning. The lace something or other clips. Uh, I just like the clips. I just like the texture. Um, nothing special about this. Um, this was one of the first, uh, one of the first, I think it was a Ben Bridge exclusive. Ben Bridge or Jared, I forget. And I, once upon a time, was on a mission to try to collect all the exclusives from Ben Bridge and or Jared at one point. I kind of gave up on that dream because it was just impossible to do. But I remember buying this a while ago, what, right when the bangles, the first, you know, the first, like, Pandora bangle ever came out. This was part of the purchase for that in order to get the free bangle. Um, the ice skating charm is representing of one of the last memories I had with a cousin that passed away. She was very, very young when she passed away in her teens still. So it was one of the things that we did the last time I saw her. 
So I bought that charm and kind of remembrance of her. The alarm clock is just cute. Hot air balloon. I would like to go see a hot air balloon festival. Not to be in on one. Never ever will be I ever be in a hot air balloon. I'd rather die. <laughs> But I would like to go see one. I would like to go see a festival of hot air balloons. So, yes, that's what I, that's there. Ja, the little giraffe is just cute. I like his cute little horns. The loving aunt is in memory of my aunt who passed away a couple of years ago from cancer. I myself am an aunt as well, but this is not for me. This is for my aunt who passed away. She was one of my favorite aunts. She was kind of young too. She was in her... I think late 40s or early 50s when she passed, so really young. Uh, this one I just got random. Uh, it was a gift and I didn't know where to put it, so I stuck it on this bracelet. The clip again, the ballerina, because I was in ballet once upon a time and I would have stuck to it and become an actual ballerina if I had had a chance to do so, but did not have a chance. So uh, uh, the puffy heart, me just, um, I forget where I got it, or I got it. I'm sure my husband got it for me probably uh, early on in my Pandora collecting. This one I got um, San Diego. It was just a impulse by hubby got it for me and I was like, thank you, I love it. And I have it on here. And the celebration cake, two-tone. I always liked the cake. I always thought it was a really cute charm, really good solid charm. So I got it. I think it was a rule of law too, I forget. Um, but I always admired it, always wanted it, and when it was on a rule, I picked it up because I was like, you know what, it's just a really cool charm. It's a really solid charm, and it's two-tone, so that's where I got my this one. And again, that's enough for the random. Kind of spent a little too much time on that bracelet, I think. What's my timer say? Yep, there we go again. <laughs> okay, next we come to my two-tone bracelet. My green and two-tone bracelet. And this one has a floral theme as well. I'm going to zoom out slightly. Actually, yeah, just slightly. Yeah, right there. This one doesn't necessarily have any uh, meaning. Like, the charms don't have meanings. It's just the set, the theme that I really wanted to, like, make. And I'm going to be very careful with this because this has... The, the, the space here will just pop right off. So, uh, again, I'm just going to very quickly go over it. Nothing special. None of these charms actually mean anything to me. It's just uh, decorational and something that I wanted to create. Um, at one point, I was kind of tired of Pandora constantly making pink and purple, pink and purple flowers. And they're still doing that. So I wanted to do something a little bit different and make more of a green floral type of theme. So again, none of these really have any meaning. It's just charms that I thought would look perfect with the theme that I had in mind. So we have uh, Fall Leaves, I think. I forget this is called Vintage Allure. Tree of Life, a Sparkling Rose or Shimmery Rose, something other green. Murano. I'm not gonna go through all of them because again, it's just too much. Dread Exclusive. And so forth and so forth. Making this Murano the focal point. More two tones. The clip. I like the fact that the clip here is the leaves, sparkly leaf clip, and then like the daisy clip here. Again, it's not really a forest theme. It's just again floral leaf motif or theme. I know this is a Christmas charm, but I really, 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 really liked it for this bracelet. And it's a holly, and it has so much gold on it. It's just, oh, I love it. This is the kind of stuff that Pandora used to make, and it's like, yeah, thumbs up. <laughs> and then we have a Birds of a Feather, I think it's called. Honestly, I think this charm is what inspired this entire bracelet. It was this charm. I loved the fact that Pandora used an actual jewel, jewel tone. It was a 2013 collection, I think. First time that they didn't use a pastel. First time that they used an actual jewel tone, beautiful emerald green. First time that, yeah, that they actually did that. So this friend right here gets actual gold and has the green cubic zirconia. I just thought, you know what, it's such a beautiful bead. And I really, really liked it, so I got it. And then I decided to make a whole entire bracelet based on this bead with the gold 
and the green. And of course I have to get the little wildflower. <laughs> doesn't really go right here. It has like a pink or purple stone, but I choose to ignore that. And then of course we have the signature two-tone. And then I forgot to mention that this one, the apple blossom, also has... Oh man, hold on. My brace is coming apart. This one has a pink stone in it because it's an apple blossom, but again, I'm choosing to disregard that. <laughs> and just focus on the fact that it's a pretty flower. <laughs> All right, putting this back together again before I forget. And I mentioned in my last, one of my last videos, I wanted to make like a bird theme brace, like kind of like a bird slash forest theme. And I got, uh, what is it? I bought another birds of a feather charm, but I am kind of at a loss too. I don't know exactly what to do with that bracelet, so. It's on hold for now until I can figure out what I want to do with it. All right, put that back. Next, we come to what is this? Um, my second. I'll show you my first later. Well, maybe I should go in order. Should I go in order? Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> this is my very first star bracelet. I treasure this bracelet. I just love it. I was just like so happy and proud when I finally finished it. Um, it was supposed to be a black and gold two-tone, but Pandora started making these uh, blue, like blue star themed charms, i.e. this one here and this one. So then I decided to throw in the blue. So now it's blue and black and two-tone, which is, uh, it's okay. You know, I like it. We start again. None of these charms have meaning. It's just the theme. It's just um, my star bracelet. That's all it is. So we start with the barrel, the original barrel star charm here. The Murano, the Stardust Murano, which I added later. Uh, I forget what this is called. I want to call it Night Star, Night Sky. I forget. The blue enamel and the two tone, of course. Uh, this was a late edition. Initially, this had been uh, this charm, the ice crystal charm. This used to be here. But then they came out with this charm, so then I replaced it. And I was like, okay, in you go. <laughs> the original black Star Muranos. Because again, this was supposed to be black. Was supposed to be a black and two-tone bracelet, but it didn't happen. Little dangle. Of course, the very first Your Star. I think it was called Your Star. Clip, the spacers, the Stella, of course, which needs to be re-oxidized. Re and we will talk about that in a future video, hopefully. Um, the dangle, Clave dangle. My hubby bought me this just because I bought, I remember I wasn't feeling too well and he came home with this because he, he said, I know you're not feeling good. I know you had a hard day. So that was a just because gift. Of course, my second extra large golden star charm, which I try not to get banged up, but I have my pristine one if I do. <laughs> the black one. Oh shoot, I forget what this is called. I think it's just called Starburst, I don't remember. I wanna say Friendship Star, but that's not right. The second star uh, spacer, the other star, if I don't forget, I'm forgetting names guys, it's been such a long time now, and I'm getting older, so my memory's starting to fade. <laughs> Plus, I just realized this is dirty. These are all dirty, they should all get a good cleaning. <laughs> um, this used to be this charm right here, you guys can barely see it. This one right here, the little gold star, used to be here. Um, but again, Pandora came up with some blue dangles, so I bought me this one. I think I have a double. Don't I have a double? Yeah, I do. <laughs> um, okay, with that one, sorry, replace the two tone with this one. The other balancing Murano. Uh, I love this charm so much. I was like, yes, when I finally got it, I was like, ah, ha, ha. So, I forget what it's called. Star charm, so of course I have the blue one on the other to balance it out. The pave with the stars on it too, the second stardust. And this one is a clip. I get it, but I don't know what, like, how else to balance this one out. So I just figured it'd be good to have on this side. So there is my very first star bracelet. Moving on, we have about six minutes left. So I gotta rush it. We come to my second star bracelet. So 
Let me open this one up. Real quick. Um, this one, I am not as proud of my first one, but I do like it just the same because it's got the gold and has a lot more gold. So again, I know this is supposed to be a Christmas ice crystal charm. I decided to make it a star <laughs> in order to balance it out. So I bought this one for this. Um, I was supposed to use this as a single charm on a bangle I, when I realized it wasn't working for me because I just can't stand charms on bangles. Um, I decided to put it on this bracelet and then I decided, you know what, I need me some more gold. So I ended up <laughs> buying some of the star barrel or star tunnel charm. What is it? The star charm only in the gold version. Again, here is the silver comparison. So exactly the same, just in gold. Actually, I think this one's just slightly smaller because it is gold. Very, very tiny difference, if there is a difference. Um, I also wanted this clip, but I didn't know where to put it because I already had completed my first star bracelet, so I decided to buy it for this one. So I really think it's really darling and cute, tiny little stars with a moon around it. The regular golden star. And then we have the matching button to the dangle. And I love these little cutouts too. They're so cute. And then my second golden, oh shoot, starlight, is that what it's called? Yeah, you can see it's much more beat up because it's on a bracelet. I bought this pre-loved on uh, Facebook. I didn't care that it was pre-loved because it was going to go on a bracelet anyways. And I have my beautiful pristine one, which I already showed you. That's why it's in a baggie. <laughs> the, what is it? Oh, the other button charm. I forget what this is called. But I think it's a perfect compliment to this one. Just same but different. I love it. <laughs> Again, the balancing one, another big star balancing charm, um, the little golden star dangle, which I adore. It's kind of rare, kind of hard to find. A second star charm here. And then I have my galaxy, which doesn't really match the star theme but it is celestial so it's a galaxy and if you guys notice I am missing a charm on this side to correspond with this one and I already know which one it's going to be I just have to buy it <laughs> so this this bracelet is almost done except for that one missing charm on this side and then of course we come to the spacer which I mean spacer the safety charm oh my gosh I can't talk the safety chain which I think was an Asian exclusive, and I'm so happy I bought it. I guess this was on Facebook again. And I, I, it was a must have because I was like, I must have this bracelet. I mean, this uh, safety chain. So I'm really, really happy I got this. And of course we end with the, shoot, I forget the name of this bracelet too. The one with the star burst on it. And then the matching stars on the other side. I love this bracelet so much. I could probably get another one and be happy. And that's it for this bracelet. Gotta speed it up a little bit. Down to two minutes and I still got one, two, three, four bracelets left. Sorry, just putting this bracelet back together again. There also lose some charms. Next we come to my heart bracelet. And this one does have meaning, but not like, how do I say this? Uh, some of these charms were purchased by the hubby. Well, those were purchased by me just to complete it. Um, it doesn't, again, there's no one charm that has a special meaning to me. It's the bracelet as a whole that has meaning to me. Okay. And the reason why is because my husband, I said this before plenty of times in other videos, my husband used to travel a lot for work. I mean, a lot, a lot, a lot. And sometimes he'd bring me back a charm and he'd bring me back a heart shaped charm. And sometimes there were Pandora, sometimes there were Brighton because they were much cheaper. <laughs> this is before I got really into Pandora. So technically this is one of my first bracelets. Um, yeah, this is one of my first like bracelets I started like working on, which is why it's special to me because of that reason. So this one he bought me a thing for Christmas and I like it because it says, you make my heart smile. Let me see, hold on. Yeah, you make my heart smile. and. 
the reason I'm kind of like goofy about this charm is because my husband's can my husband can be very cheesy, can be a big cornball, and he always tells me you make my heart smile, which I thought was a really weird thing to say because I was like, how can your heart smile? <laughs> so I was like, okay, you're such a goofball, but of course it makes me go, oh, you know, deep inside. I'm like, yeah, my baby. So he always says I make his heart his heart smile, and the funny part is, and Pandora made up came up with this charm, and I was like, I need to buy it. <laughs> So I think I actually bought it. I don't think you bought it from me. I can't remember now. I think I bought it myself Most likely I think I bought this or I told him to buy it for me. I don't remember. It's such a long time ago So yes, this one does have meaning. I don't love the charm itself I think it's kind of like eh, boring with a circle and the heart inside and this pink is kind of like Boring Pepto bismol pink. I just ew Could have been glittery or something. So it's kind of boring to me, but again, the inscription on the back is what makes this charm for me, so I disregard everything else because of the inscription. Um, next we come to the enamel heart, which is I like a lot because I gotta say, Pandora enamel is awesome. Uh, it doesn't fade, it doesn't chip. For me, ink, at least for my in my case, I have never had any issues with Pandora enamel. Very sturdy, very hardy. Good job. Oh, there goes the timer. All right, gotta speed it up now, or else I'm gonna go past 45 minutes, and I don't want to do that. Um, the rest are just again. Heart themed charms. This one I think was a birthday or Christmas gift to you are so loved. I love that saying. You are so loved. Just love it. So like it makes me feel like oh special. <laughs> um again, these are a combination of his gifts for me and me buying it to complete the bracelet. Really no meaning. I just like this. Again, you guys know I like crowns. And two hearts interlocked with a crown on top is just I like it. I think it's very cute. The you're in my heart clip, I think it's called. Um, this one he bought me too. This is a very classic Pandora uh, charm with the enamel, and I think on the other side it's blank. Yeah, it's just blank. I just love the color. And again, this is such a classic Pandora charm. I feel like everyone should have this in their collection if you don't already. You know, it's a very, like I said, classic Pandora charm. Next, we just come to the Pave heart. Um, some spacers, and then the You and Me, which I think he bought me for Valentine's Day. Again, the pink, and then the nice pinky red. The matching, I think it's called Youthful Love or Young Love. I think this is what made me want to make this into like a pink slash fuchsia, or like a ruby red type of um, theme color for this one. We come to the second black, red, that's going to say black. The red version of the clip. Um, I don't know what this is called. The love in different languages. I forget what it says, what it means. I mean, no, I forget what it's called. But I think it's se seven different languages. I forget, what it's called. or language of love. I don't remember. We have the matching balancing pave heart here. We have the clear one on the other side. The balancing one here in pink. Um, the balancing one here for this pendant for the my Valentine or Something Valentine, I forget what it's called. And then we have the baby pink enamel heart. And again, another classic Pandora charm is this one. I don't remember what it's called. Very old, old charm, so it had to be on my classic Pandora. And then um, we have a safety chain. And let's move it along, I'll move it along or else we're gonna not to be done. Next, we come to my ocean bracelet, which is also badly tarnished. This one it used to have these Moranos on it, but then I decided maybe I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what I was thinking. I've had these on here for years, and then I realized, you know what? They don't really go. Do they really go? I don't know. I'll leave it here for now, and then you guys can tell me. <laughs> Again, no one charm means anything specific to me. It's the bracelet as a whole. And I like this one because it has a lot of also very classic Pandora charms as well as some newer charms. The current, the bubbles, the little splishy, splashy fish making waves, or this is making waves in this current. I always get too confused. This is more the newer one, which I really liked. I really liked it a lot. I just thought, oh my god, it's so pretty. And uh, Elemental Flow, two tone clips, the compass. The effervescent blue, the Elsa, I think it's called the Elsa Morano, with the open sky spacers. This is backwards, which is bothering me now. Uh, this is actually, oh gosh, it's really backwards. This is actually a daisy. 
I think it's called a blue daisy charm. But just look at that gorgeous topaz. That's a real topaz. And I remember hand picking this myself at the store before they got retired. And I got the bluest one I could find. So it, daisies don't really have anything to do with oceans, but I just thought, you know, I needed to balance out the compass, which is also a topaz. So gorgeous topaz, the next balancing uh, elemental clip here. And then this one was supposed to be the enamel bead, which I will show later. Uh, it's part of a Jared haul. So it wasn't really supposed to be part of this, but I forget why I bought it. I think I bought it because I, in case I couldn't get the enamel one or I, re I don't remember why I bought it. Or I was thinking maybe of getting this one and getting two more enamels. I don't remember, but it's fine. No big deal. Uh, the big swirls, I think it's called a little, it's called seahorse, the f starfish, and then of course another classic Pandora. So yeah, I don't know why I thought this matched. Does it match? You guys tell me. I, feel, I, I guess I thought that it was the same shade of blue. But now seeing it, it's really not. <laughs> that's why I took them off. <laughs> uh, so that's my ocean bracelet. I don't know what I'm doing now with my time. I have no clue. I got two more bracelets to go. So yes, the end is in sight. You can see the lights at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> Let's go with my um, European... My European trip bracelet. I made a whole bracelet based on the, my, my one and only European trip because it meant so much to me. It was a dream of mine to go to Europe. My parents and my sister have gone plenty of times and I had yet to go. And I finally got to go two years ago to celebrate a special birthday. And it was a trip of a lifetime and I really wish we could have like spent more time there. We spent I think two weeks there. And we just jam packed as much as we could in those two weeks. Let me tell you, so we were exhausted, but it was such so worth it. So let's just get started. Um, some of these have stories, some of them do not have stories. Some of them just commemorate the fact that we did certain things or activities in Europe. So we started our trip in Paris, and then traveled to Madrid, and then from Madrid to we split up. My parents went to Seville, and my husband and I went to Grenada, and then we met back in Barcelona. So, the fan obviously represents these several flamenco shows that we saw. And he says, I love España, which is awesome. I When this came out, I was so excited. I was looking for the old classic Pandora fan. And I couldn't find it. One, because it's super rare. And two, if I could, it was super expensive. So when they came out with this one, I was like, you know what? I'll settle for this one. Because it's really cute. Anyways, it's beautiful. Anyways. Um, this was a birthday gift for my sister. They told her it was for the fan, the Spanish fan. I think they even told her it was a limited edition or exclusive to Spain. I was like, they lied to you. <laughs> but because it was a gift from her, it's going to be on this bracelet. because I think it's very, very fitting. And I have the matching pendant. So, haha. <laughs> and I really love that, this effect of this, like, cut. I forget what it's called, but this is cool, like, it's cool. <laughs> I bought myself the, what is it, the dollar. I ended up uh, buying one for myself and then uh, I had purchased another one from uh, Elizabeth. She was able to get one from um, a friend who was in Saudi Arabia. So now I have two and I don't know what to do with them. So I have a duplicate, which is fine. Cause I love my duplicates. Anyways, this is in commemoration of Grenada. Um, they have a huge Moroccan um, influence there, and they have a tea culture. I guess they have, I think they have a tea culture and a coffee culture, but I prefer tea, and that's all we drank while we were in Grenada. It was such good tea. It was like the best tea I've ever had in my life. I was like, can I just live here, please? <laughs> so I literally, I think every meal we went to a Moroccan tea restaurant, or it was just, ugh. It was just so good, so good. We had Moroccan food every day, delicious. Um, so that's to commemorate that. The camera, obviously, I used to be a photographer, but that's not why it's here. It's more because I'm a tourist and I, I think took like a million bazillion photos of everything. <laughs> and then we come to the Sagrada Familia, uh, what is it, Basilica or church, I forget. 
um, I was looking high and low for this this charm because I wanted the original. I wanted the original, and it says Barcelona on the inside. You just can't really see it because it's on the inside. Um, I again was looking high and low for this. I posted it on Instagram that I was like, if anyone could find me this charm, I would love you forever. And finally, Maud from My Charmed Moments 1974. She hooked it up. She knew that I was looking for this charm and I had given up hope and I ended up getting another charm from Enchanting Beads from Paula, which I did show in my first video. I showed you guys a little like engraved one, but I had my heart set on this one and I had given up on finding this one. So she was like, I found it for you and I bought it for you. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I'm so happy she just bought it. I'm happy she just snapped it up and picked it up for me. She didn't even ask me first if I wanted it. She just knew I wanted it. She bought it for me. And I was like, can you? Can I pay you back like in installments because I'm poor and I'm always poor. <laughs> and she goes, yeah, that's fine. So I paid her and I was so, so happy. So happy that I finally scored this charm. It was such a rare charm to find now. Oh my gosh. But this has a special story because of that. Because it was the one thing we did in Barcelona and because a dear Instagram Pandora sister helped another Pandora sister out and it means a lot to me because of that so so grateful to her for that um the next one is just the all around the world very fitting this one the scooter charm um I don't know it, 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 we saw scooters all over Spain it's really funny because I always thought it was more of an Italian stereotype where all the Italians run the little Vespas it's a European thing apparently <laughs> they were in France too in Paris but they were more predominantly, we would notice them more predominantly in um, Grenada. So we have a little inside joke, my husband and I bought the scooters. Um, so I had to get my hands on this one because it's it was just part of the trip. Uh, next we come to the Barcelona exclusive. Can you guys see the little dings on that heart? Look at that. I haven't actually, I've only worn this person maybe once. And because it's just rolling around in my charm, in my um, drawer, oh my gosh. Oh well, it is what it is. Okay, it has to be used, right? So I bought this in Barcelona, Barcelona exclusive. Of course I have to have it. <laughs> I'm not gonna show you this charm, the one I'm holding up like this, cause it's personal and I don't feel like ready to share that. <laughs> so I'm hiding it. <laughs> the next one is a soccer ball. Again, I was searching high and low for the original soccer ball with the little cubic zirconias. Um, I wanted it to be red, more of a ruby red but it's fine it's it, it works because uh the one thing we did in madrid was we saw a football or soccer i'm sorry soccer game which was a lot of fun honestly it was the one thing my dad wanted to do in barcelona and we got to do it and we were like the vip he got the vip ticket so he hooked it up it was really fun it was a really fun fun game <laughs> uh, so i had to get that and my husband and I bought him um, his favorite team's like jacket. Like he has the jacket, so he, it's it's just a really good memory. We gave him his jacket. And he was so happy, he cried. <laughs> so it was good. It was good around on um, memories. Of course, the Spain flag because we went to Spain, obviously. And then we have the Seville uh, Seville charm that my parents got me uh, as a birthday gift because they went to Seville. And then I got, of course, I got the pa Paris exclusive, the two-tone uh, charm. I feel tired with the little two-tone, with the little gold heart. How can you not get this, right? Madrid, exclusive, obviously, because we were Madrid. Of course, the Paris, I mean the Paris, the French flag. And this was also a hookup. Some char, I think her name was Charm Girl 80 or Charm Girl 90 on Instagram. I'm sorry if I forget your name. You know what, let me look it up real quick because I don't want to not give you the credit you deserve. It was Charm Girl 80. She said that she saw this at a Pandora, no, no, a Jared outlet that she lives nearby. And she goes, do you want me to get it for you? And I was like, yes, please. And again, helped me out, paid her back. So happy because this was also kind of rare. I feel like the flags are kind of rare to find now. So got that. And what else? Oh yes, the pan, no, the, pan, the Cathedral Rose. I never really cared for this uh, charm before. 
until obviously we went to Paris and I was able to see the, we were able to see the uh, Notre Dame before it burned down. So the year, I think the year after we went there, it burned down. So very lucky to have been able to see it before that happened, that tragedy happened, and I got this in commemoration of that occasion. Uh, the artist palette it commemorates our trip to the Louvre, because I don't know what else to put for that, because, you know, it's a museum, it's not like Pedro has a museum charm, so artist palette is the only thing I could think of for that. Um, what else? Spain. This was just, again, an exclusive so I got I got all as, as many exclusives as I could find so Spain Madrid Barcelona etc etc but can I say too that for the Seville one um Grenada didn't have one so I since my family went to Seville and we went to Grenada I plan to have Grenada engraved on the back of this one to kind of you know show the fact that we split up and then we came back together again <laughs> Um, what else? Next we come to the, I want to travel, wait, what's it say? I want to travel the world with you. So this I may get rid of depending on what other charms I can find. I have two more charms that I kind of want to put on this bracelet. This bracelet is already kind of big as it is. It's huge. I may have to go up to a 7.9 in order to accommodate all of these charms. Um, and there is a couple here that I, I might still take off because I have plans for this bracelet still. Like the passport, again, this was a generic one. I have it on my other travel bracelet too, which I don't think I need anymore. So we might get rid of this one to change out to a more meaningful charm. The train charm, I know it's a Christmas train. Obviously the Christmas gift is right here. But we, did the, we took the train from Madrid to Grenada and again from Grenada to Barcelona. And my husband was so happy to take the He wanted to take a train ride so badly. That was his one thing he wanted to do on the trip. And he got his wish. And I know this is a, a Christmas train, but it's not like Pandora's going to make another Christmas, or another train charm. This is the only one I could find that will, they will make and will probably ever make. So I had to buy it and stick it on this bracelet, even though it's really big and chunky. I like that, but it, it does take a quite a lot of space on the bracelet. Let me tell you. <laughs> so it had to go on the bracelet. It has to, has to, has to. And then the other French exclusive is the Je Thème, which also may be taken off the bracelet because I need more room. <laughs> so yeah, these three right here, the Je Thème, the passport and the I love to travel may be replaced with something else which you will have to wait and see <laughs> all right I know I'm probably going into the 35 40 minute mark here and I again to tr truly apologize for that I can't help it guys it's a lot of stuff and I can only talk so fast before I don't make any sense so <laughs> I'm so sorry if I went over again <sighs> sorry anyways <laughs> this is the absolutely last bracelet I promise <laughs> um but is it? Uh, we start with a two-tone drum, which was a special gift from Nicole from my Prairie Charmed Life. It was a swap we did for Christmas a couple of years ago. And she was so excited to, to like what the meaning behind it was. And I was like, oh, I don't have a meaning. I just really like the, like, the way it's made. It's so cute. <laughs> I like miniatures. I really do. That's probably why I am so in love with charms because there's miniatures, right? So I stuck it on my Christmas bracelets because the Little Drummer Boy, the Little Christmas Carol, the Little Drummer Boy is one of my favorite, one, I have plenty of other favorites, but it's one of my favorite Christmas carols. So I thought it was very meaningful to put it on the Christmas bracelet. The Silent Night, I think it's called, obviously, because to me that is the reason for the season. <laughs> And I really like the way it tells the story of like Mary on the donkey and Joseph is like, you know, leading the way. And then the manger scene and then the three wise men or three wise kings, I forget, right? They come to visit. So I just think it's really cute. I love it. And I think it was a Jared exclusive too, which is why I jumped at it. The celestial, I think it's called Celestial Wonder, says Merry Christmas on the bottom or top. <laughs> and I like that it's two-tone. I like the little star again, has a tiny little gold star, and then an angel, 
And I love that. I love celestial stuff. You guys know I love my angels and stars, so they have to go on my Christmas bracelet. Uh, the star, I, I got this one because I had bought the black and the, uh, no, the black one and the blue ones again, so I needed this clear one. I think the clear one actually was part of the original star bracelet that I showed you before I added blue to it. So this became the Star of Bethlehem. <laughs> and then we have the angel that comes down and announces the birth of Christ, right? And then we have the Holy Family. It's really cute. So if you guys can tell maybe like this part of the bracelet is more dedicated to like the reason for the season, right? Kind of. And then we come to the more commercial part of the bracelet. <laughs> Uh, I ended up getting the lace, I forget what they're called, lace something daisies. Uh, I really like the shape of them. I like that they're kind of see-through, kind of see-through them. And I don't like the shape of them. So I bought them, I didn't know what to do with these clips until I realized, hey, they kind of look like those little like paper, you know when you're in kindergarten and you like cut out the little paper um, snowflakes? That's what this reminded me of. So I thought, you know what, I think they look really good here. Besides, I didn't like any of the other winter or Christmas themed clips. I didn't like any of them. Like the star, I think there's like a, there's a two-tone one. I can't remember, I don't like it. It's two-tone, but it's just, I don't know. I just didn't like it. I just really liked them better. So I got this instead. And then we got the little mittens, which I always put on backwards every time. <clears throat> They're really cute, aren't they cute? Just thought they were cute, so I'd like to put them on here. Of course, the Pandora shopping bag, because how can I not have Christmas a Pandora shopping bag underneath the Christmas tree, right? <laughs> really like this charm here because of that. The sparkling surprise, I think it's called. Sparkling surprise? Sparkling something? Obviously, the gifts we get. The Christmas tree, the original two-tone Christmas tree. I bought this one. Uh, there's been like three or four other varieties since then. And there was what, another one too, I think it has like little colored uh, stones and I think it all, may also have a gold star on top. Um, and I wouldn't mind getting that one too, but I feel like we'll already have this Christmas tree. I don't need another one. Um, but on Instagram, I think it was Pandora Jean or Ida Jean, if you follow her, she, I think when she, she doesn't really collect much anymore, but when she did, I think she actually has all of the Christmas trees. It's really cool to see because she has all the trees. Like, it's a really cool concept to make a, a, a bracelet with just all the Christmas trees. Again, if I had all the money in the world, I would do that too. Because <laughs> it's really cute to have like all the little Christmas trees. It's so cute. Maybe one day in the future, the distant future. <laughs> um, oh, the gingerbread man. Yes, he is so cute. It just represents all the baking and cooking we all do during the holidays. I handpicked him also, made sure I got a nice dark brown one because the other ones were kind of like a more of a tan. I was like, no, I like this nice deep golden brown color, amber. The balancing um, clip and then the cozy Christmas heart house. Oh, I love this charm so much. It's so cute because the back has like a little Christmas tree and the fireplace or a table. I can't quite tell what the tree, like little gifts underneath the tree. It's so cute. Again, little miniatures. I love miniatures. Look how adorable that is. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, this was probably the last, I think this was last year's collection. Yeah, remember I told you guys before that I just, it seems like less and less charms are coming out that I like. I don't like that many. This was the only one I liked. The only one. <laughs> like for the entire Christmas collection from last year. The pine cone represents the fact that my mom Every year she buys her cinnamon, you know, those cinnamon uh, scented pine cones every year. Every year, since I can remember, um, I would, you know, it's that smell, right? You know, when you smell that, the holidays are coming. And now I picked up that tradition too. And now every year I buy those scented pine cones and I put them on top of, um, you know, several places, places around the house so you can get that nice Christmas, you know, holiday season smell, you know? Oh, I love it. The snowman, I just thought he was cute. <laughs> He's just cute. He's cute. I kind of wish it snowed here so that we could build snowmen, but we don't, so I just put him on my bracelet. <laughs> the candy cane, because I love the candy canes. Uh, not so much the last couple years, but 
before, like maybe four or five years ago, up to four or five years ago, I was a big like candy cane fiend. I would buy the candy canes and I'd just eat them myself. They're supposed to go on the tree, but I just ended up eating them myself. So one of my favorite holiday candies for this season, the apple. I don't know, Paul, Paul, people are going, why is there an apple on your Christmas bracelet? Well, it's because my mom makes a certain type of punch only during this type of, only during this holiday season. Um, one of the ingredients is apples. It's kind of like apple cider, <clears throat> but it's different with more spices. So therefore I decided to put it on my Christmas bracelet to signify that yummy, yummy punch that she makes. And then this, the bow is kind of like a, eh, just to get on there because it's a holiday thing. I bought this on an, it was an impulse buy. I want it as a necklace, but then on the necklace, it kind of turns upside down. So I decided to put it on here as a, look, it's the bows that go on gifts. <laughs> So if Pandora ever makes more Christmas charms that I like, that I actually like, I, I could replace the bow with one of them, maybe the snowman, since these are kind of replaceable. But for the most part, this is a complete bracelet, I think. Oh no, it's not complete. I'm missing a dangle still. Aren't I? Hold on. This is my focal point. My dangle. My tree, my clips. Oh yeah, I am missing a dangle right here. So I guess this does have room to grow, which is kind of nice. I have one more room for a dangle. And then if I ever like something better, I can always change out the bow to something else and maybe the snowman too, but that's it you guys. I know it was a lot. I know it was a lot. I am really shocked actually that it took seven videos i really really thought that i could do this in four i guess i was wrong <laughs> and i'm gonna lay out all of my charm bracelets here so you guys can see the extent of how massive it is and i know that there are some of you who have even more charms than this you guys have more bracelets than this more charms than this. I know lots of you actually change out your stuff on a daily basis. You know, you create beautiful designs um, every day using different colors. You know, and I'm just, I'm still going. This isn't even all of it. I'm still going, guys. I'm not gonna put them all here because that would just be too much. <laughs> that would be too much. But obviously if you've been here, if you are still hanging out here with me because you know you've seen all this already so again i just want to say a big thank you for continuing your support for continuing watching my craziness here on youtube <laughs> my crazy addiction to collecting pandora charms and troll beads and all sorts of jewelry and i hope you liked this video <laughs> my next video should be pretty special too it might be my very first own beads Haul. It's not going to be a very big haul. It's only maybe mm, a couple beads, maybe like six beads around there somewhere. We'll see. But I, again, I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.